welcome to starting with sheep in today's video we're going to cover the birthing process now 14 years ago when i first started with sheep and i did my first lambing it was the most daunting thing i'd ever done and one of the biggest mistakes i made was i intervened way too early and caused myself a lot of problems so in this video, I'm hoping to help you not make those mistakes. As I said, the biggest mistake I made was intervening too early. And I assumed as soon as a ewe started pushing that she was going to lamb. I've since learned that that's not the case. Also, books give you information. Please take what's in the books as guidance. Each individual you, like a person, is completely different when they come to birth in. I've had ewes that have been pacing around for a day and have still had perfectly healthy lambs. I've had ewes that have had the water bag um, expelled for a good couple of hours and also had really good lambs. But like I say, in the book, it says that you should see a lamb within half an hour. So don't be tempted to intervene too early. It is so tempting when you see a ewe laying on the floor pushing and you think, I've got a helper. But sometimes by pushing or pulling the wrong time, you can cause yourself no end of problems and you get the lambs inside all tangled up and therefore you end up having to get the vet and maybe even losing the lamb and also the ewe. So just... Um, watch the video and hopefully you'll learn a bit about the process and you too won't make the same mistakes as what I did. So I hope you enjoy watching these clips and I'll speak to you later. This you here is in the very early stages of birthing um, and I'm going to try and do a vlog right the way through to birthing for you so that you can see what happens during the process and what to look out for. As you can see there, she's pushing her back leg. She's been up and down and I'll show you some more in a second. She's back up now. As you can see, she's also holding her tail out, um, which is another sign, often keeping their tail out. And I don't know whether you can tell from the video, but uh, tails quite seems quite low down that's because her hips have slackened and that's all part of getting her body ready for lambing she's also stretching and she keeps squatting and nothing coming out so it's almost like she's having a wee but nothing's coming out one of the things you do when they're coming up to lambing is they try and find a sheltered hidden spot um, it's a bit hard in the barn, but mine tend to always go under the hay rack. But if you're lambing outside, you may find that in the mornings when you go down the field, that you might have a ewe sheltered under the hedge that is not that keen to come to the trough. That could give you some idea that she's just about to start lambing. She's now starting to give small pushes. The first thing that will appear will be the water bag and as you can see very restless again and back up and again up again stretching very very restless um, sure signs that she's going to birth quite soon don't go into panic mode sometimes this can last for two hours even longer um, she's not pushing constantly and you've not had any water bag yet so please don't um, panic that nothing's happening she's now starting to pour at the ground um, and what she's doing it looks like she's eating but actually what they're doing is clearing up the juices that they think they're expelling from their back end and that's um, nature's way of hiding the evidence of lambing one of the other things they'll do is they'll get quite protective over their spot for lambing. So that's what she's doing. She's trying to move the other ewe out of the way. 
one of the other things you may notice is that during labour they'll start paying attention to lambs that aren't theirs if they've been beginning to push they're expecting to see a lamb so you'll always so notice if you've got pens in your shed or there's other lambs in the field that you may be paying quite a lot of attention to them as you can see now she's just expelled the water bag now like I said earlier there's um, quite a time in between the water bag and the lamb sometimes sometimes they can come quite quickly but um, she's got a good size water bag there um, so there doesn't seem to be any problem with her dilating one of the mistakes I made when I first started is that I thought with her pushing that there needed to be a lamb coming and I intervened way too quickly. She's well into labour now, so she's scratching at the floor. She's got her water bag and hopefully pretty soon you may well see some lambs. She's having twins, so we'll hopefully see them delivered soon. I can just see to a hoof there and she's quite actively pushing. That's a good sign, a hoof first. And I can also see a little nose. moment there's only one hoof there but she well may write that herself so don't be too keen to um, go in legs and the head are now out so just let her do it herself so here it comes I'm not going to intervene because she's quite happily doing it here comes the first twin and that is a perfect delivery so she's now going to lick that lamb the lamb's quite lively if you heard that but it bleated which is a good sign now there can be quite a gap between the first twin and the second twin she's quite um, actively licking um, her first twin so sometimes she'll just see to that twin first sometimes it can pop straight on out afterwards and there she's just popped the second twin out so I'm just gonna take that round to mum there you go going to do it's just it's taken in some fluid is give it a swing backwards and forwards just to clear its lungs and pop it back down again That's a nice little lamb as well hi and welcome back i hope you enjoyed watching those clips um just to let you know that you actually started the early stages of labouring at about 10 o'clock in the morning. As you can see from the end of the video, it was getting dark, so it was about six hours. So it doesn't happen just like that. So also, the only bit of advice I can give you from the mistakes I made was 
if you find that you've got a you that is having trouble giving birth um, and you're not confident or you realize you can't get that lamb out is call a vet straight away that's the best thing you can do for the you and the lamb now there's lots of positions a lamb can get into which stops a you birthing naturally and as you get more confident and as time goes on you'll learn how to do them but don't beat yourself up if you can't do them straight away you can read as many books as you like and you can look at the positions in in the books and the pictures but when you're there on your own trying to birth a, a lamb that you've never ever done before it's really hard and like i say don't but beat yourself up you haven't failed you're just learning so i hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll see you again next time until then happy sheep keeping